Okay, topic 13, stratified sampling. So there's a town with 80,000 voters in, 60,000 women, 15,000 men, and 5,000 chickens. So we want to do a survey about uh, how people are going to vote. We don't want to ask all 80,000 people, so we're going to do a sample of 400 people. So the population is everybody, 80,000 people, and the sample is 400. Now there's a lot more women than men in the population, so it makes sense to ask more women than men when we do the survey. So this topic is all about um, dividing our sample up into different levels so that they reflect the population. So stratified sampling means dividing a sample up into appropriate levels. So just the note there, the method of selecting our sample to reflect our population is called stratified sampling. And this is what we want to do. 60,000 of the 80,000 voters are women. So in fairness, 60,000 80 thousandths of the 400 people we ask should be women. So 60,000 80 thousandths of 400, so that's 60,000 on the top, 80,000 on the bottom for that fraction. Of means times, so we've got a time sign there. And then times 400, the 400 goes on the top when we multiply a fraction by number. And that gives us 300 women when we work that out. And then 15,000 of the 80,000 voters are men, so 15,000 80 thousandths of the 400 people we ask should be men. So 15,000 80 thousandths of 400 comes to 75. And then finally the rest of them, 5,000 80 thousandths of 400 comes to 25. So we've got three groups and we ask 375 and 25 which makes our 400. Example 2. There are 700 students in the school. 300 are boys, 400 are girls. We want to do a survey asking 50 of them about the school. A sample of 50. So 300 of the 700 are boys, so 300 seven hundredths of our 50 people should be boys. And that comes to 21.43. Similarly with the girls, 400 seven hundredths of our 50 people should be girls. And that comes to 28.57. And of course, um, it makes sense to round that to 21 and 29, because you can't ask 0.57 of a person.